Hey guys, hopefully everybody's doing good. So here's a topic that I've gotten. The best way to visualize lottery wins. That's what we're gonna talk about today. Always remember, mind your mind. Your mind is the secret to your success. The world doesn't exist without a conscious observer, which is your mind. Mind it. So let's get into this because I've been getting this question a lot. What well, the best way to visualize a lottery win? Okay, so of course you guys know that I've won the lottery before, numerous times, and I talk about it. I help people to just if it's the lottery they want, any part of their lives. This is what I do. I help you, and I use your mind, your subconscious, your higher mind. So I'm going to take a note. See, look at that. Even the universe is agreeing with me. The light and the thunder here. So. It's a very good scene to make this video. It's kind of the nice, calm, thunder, you know, the rain. It's, it's just a great um, ambiance to get you in a state to visualize. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share my technique to visualize. And I believe that's about 80% that helped me to win. And I continue to do this today when I visualize to win the lottery or anything of that side. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so here's what you should do first. We're gonna do some, we're gonna take some action and then we're gonna do our visualization. So this is the best way I find. So we're gonna congruent them together. We're gonna incorporate them. So what I would suggest for you to do is, number one, know what you want, okay? Have a goal of, kind of ballpark figure of how much you'd like to win. And just kind of know, okay, what do I want the lottery for? Or what am I gonna do with the money with the lottery, okay? Number two, I always associate it with some type of tangible object, like some material stuff. For me, you know, it was my car. So that was the, the I call it the grabber. So find your grabber. Maybe it could be uh, starting a business, a nonprofit, a house, um, things like that. Now look, don't do it just say, oh, I want financial freedom. It's not gonna be that grabber. You have to have something tangible to see something. You can take another route. You can look and say, okay, this is what financial freedom means or represents for me. Maybe some type of uh, business or something with your family. But you got to have something like that, all right? So that's that's the, what you want to do first. So once you get everything together, now we're going to go into the visual exercise and I'm going to show you how it works. So what I want you to do is, if you are close to a claim office, a lottery claim office, if you can access that office, I want you to go in there and pick up a claim form. See, Thunder's agreeing with me. That, that's no coincidence. So you wanna go in there, if you can download the claim form, download the claim form. If you can physically go into the office, go into the office. It's just gonna be so much better for your subconscious mind. When you're in that office, you see people winning. You see, anybody, anybody in that office, guys, they're claiming a lot of money. Anywhere from 1,000 to hundreds of thousands, even millions. Keep in mind, some offices are like that. So when you're in the office, just know that you're surrounded. Pick up the claim forms, they're free, anyone can get them. Fill out your claim forms as if you've won, but just leave the date blank. Don't put the date on there, just fill it out like you do everything, and leave the date blank, all right? Again, everything I'm doing, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in alignment here, I hear everything agree with me. All right, so now you got that, what you want to do now is keep your claim form with you somewhere, maybe by your bed, or fill it out and have it maybe next to your pillow. And then we're gonna do the visual exercise. And this is what I used to do. So I used to have claim forms, I used to fill them out, and I used to keep one with me right by my bed. And what I do is I would look at the claim form first, I pick it up and I look at it, and I was like, yes. I'll put it down. And then I begin my visual exercise. And here's what I would do. I would sit, relax. I mean, especially like when it's raining like this, the best time to visualize because it calms you and relaxes you. But you can visualize anytime, just relax. So what I do, I close my eyes. This is the best way, according to me. So you can use this. I would close my eyes and then I would put on some music. I think this is the most powerful part of it. I would listen to music that really just gets me inspired, just motivates me. The music does something to your heart. It just vibe the, the electromagnetic field just expands so much more. Your brain cells just fire off so much more. 
So I have this music I'm listening to, and now I'm gonna put this image in my mind's eye. So what I would do, I would always just see myself. First thing I would do, I'll go in steps. I would see myself with that claim form going into the office. And then I'd look, and when they take the, the ticket and the claim form, when they scan the ticket, there's this, they have this image, this video thing, and it will tell you how much you want. And it'll say like negative 60,000, that means they're paying you, negative 100,000. And the rep will say to me, oh, congratulations. Good seeing you again. Because I go there numerous, numerous times. I always visualize myself going. And they'll say, wow, good seeing you again. Da, da, da. Hey, do you have someone that works in the lottery? Because I see you all the time. So I always put little stuff like that in my visual exercise. Then I move to the next scene where now I have the money. I just go to my bank. I'm depositing it. Then I move to the next scene now. Maybe I'm buying the car. I'm in the car driving. You see, um, then I move to another scene where you start this business. You get the picture. That's how you visualize the lottery. And then I would repeat it over and over. Now I would do this visual exercise pretty much every day. Why? Because it just made me feel good, man. That music. Now there's sometimes I get lost. I'll get 30 minutes into this visual exercise. And it works because my mind sees the same thing. Again, see that? Everything I'm saying is like, this guy's talking the truth. The thunder's like, yeah. So, what I would do, that's the best way to visualize to win the lottery. What you should not do, don't visualize because you feel you have to. If you're forcing it, uh-uh, it ain't gonna work. You're not into it. A next tip I wanna let individuals know because Mark, what about the emotion part of it? Okay, here's the thing, guys. You and me are unique, we're different. So some people, it may take a lot of emotions. Some people may not. It doesn't matter. You don't have to go in there and try to force emotion. Just let your body do what's natural for you. You know, when I listened to the music, I didn't have like a whole bunch. I just felt good. I just felt in it. That was my my way of my emotions. Some of you may listen to the music. You may even cry. I've, I've spoken with people that they listen and they make them cry and bring tears. And that's very powerful. But you don't have to do all that. Just go with what resonates with you. Remember that, what resonates with you. That's your emotional blueprint. So when you're doing this, that's the best way you're going to, to win the lottery, to, manif to manifest it. So you do it every day. Now you can do it five minutes, 10 minutes, and then after a while you're getting so used to your subconscious, you don't have to do it every day now. You can do it a couple times a week now because that image is so there. But it's very important to do that. now. I always do this now, here's the key point. I always do this visual exercise right as I am falling asleep. That's when I do mine. Because that's the last thing my subconscious gets and the first thing it works on. And then that claim form next to me, so powerful, it sends a message to my mind that I've already won. So every night I'm like this, looking at that claim form, putting it down, visualize, looking at that. You know how powerful that is to your mind? It sees that and I used to, do, I used to take that same claim form the only thing I didn't fill out was the date. So when I got to the office, I gave her the claim form, and she's like, oh, you forgot the date. I'll say, okay, today's date. See that? So your mind will always create, guys. This is a powerful example of how you can use your mind to manipulate and create anything. Remember, you can create your own world. There's no odds or probabilities in this lottery or anything in the world because you're creating your own win. You're creating your own universe, so to speak. Because in my mind, and in your mind, we hold different realities but we all occupy the same space and time. So in my mind, in my world, I can create the events that will lead me to experience it, and then you will just be an observer in my world, see me win, I can do the same to you. You have to get that. We, we, we live in a universe or a multiverse that has infinite possibilities. There's no odds here. You can do it, and you've seen me do it. You've seen plenty of people have done it. So that's the best way to visualize winning the lottery. So that's my personal way I did it, and it works for me, it will definitely work for you. Thanks guys.